So just some basics about the nuclear density gauge itself. It contains and uses gamma rays and neutrons to measure the soil's density and moisture content. The neutron rays specifically, they're slowed down by interacting with hydrogen molecules. The speed at which these neutrons are read by the gauge's sensors indicate the amount of moisture that's in the soil. We primarily use our soil density testing for embankment work, anything regarding compaction around our subgrade material, work that requires stabilized crushed aggregate, or even compacting bedding and backfill for our drainage systems. We do our soil density testing to ensure that we're obtaining the proper compaction, and this helps avoid any early failures on our roads as well as our embankments. So if you undercompact your soil, um, that can ultimately lead to settlement over time, which can then appear as failures. If you overcompact your material, that can also lead to failures such as crushing the aggregates and losing the general structural integrity of our materials. Since the nuclear density gauges that we use emit radiation, we require that all of our authorized gauge users wear a badge that gives readings um, for any of the exposed radiation that the user might be uh, encountering.